Hello everyone. Today I am going to start the new video of computer system chapter 1 class 9. In this video we will discuss about the basic organization of computer. Actually the basic organization of computer is consisting of mainly four units. First is input unit, central processing unit, output unit and storage unit. As you can see the picture in notes video the basic organization of computer here I will make you understand the working of basic organization of computer here the input in unit is used to give the data and instruction to the computer okay the data inputted data goes to the memory unit the memory unit holds the data temporarily then it send the data to the control unit control unit is the main unit of the computer which coordinates and control all the functions operations and the devices which are connected to computer okay the control unit takes the decision what to do the data which comes to it the control unit then send the data to the next unit arithmetic and logic unit here the data is processed to to convert into the output when the data is processed it again sent back to the control unit here the control unit des decides the data has to be sent for the output unit to display the result in user readable form from the control unit the data is again sent to the memory unit and when the user gives the instruction to save the data permanently it sends to the storage unit secondary storage unit now I would like to define the input unit it is a set of devices like keyboard and mouse through which we provide data and instruction to the computer output unit it is a set of output devices like monitor printer speaker it display the process data in user readable form in hard copy or soft copy it uses monitor to display the hard copy and printer to display the sorry it is uh, it uses monitor to display the soft copy and printer to display the hard copy on the paper the next unit is a storage unit okay this is also called memory unit of the computer it store the data and instruction temporarily as well as permanently we can save the data for future use and retrieve whenever we require in the future okay the next unit of basic organization of computer is CPU central processing unit it is also called processing unit okay and just like name it controls and coordinate other devices units and the function that takes place in our computer okay and it control all the input device output device storage device internal device external device that are used in our computer and that are connected to our computer it performs all the operations like logical operation mathematical operations in our computer okay first uh, now I would like to make uh, you understand that it is a small chip or integrated circuit built on the silicon chip okay it is also called microprocessor clear and it is the brain of computer just like it takes the decision what to do and how to do and what task to be how the task to be performed its speed is measured in megahertz okay now there are three components of CPU as you know and have seen in the diagram control unit memory unit and arithmetic and logic unit okay first of all I will discuss about the control unit this is the main unit of the CPU which controls and coordinates the devices components which are connected to the computer it controls the transfer of the data from one unit to the other from one unit to another unit it provides the jobs to the other units it takes the decision how to do and what to do the data which comes to it it provide or execute the programs task which comes to it so it control or communicate with other devices so it is also called the nervous system of our computer next arithmetic and logic unit okay 
it is a component of cpu which perform arithmetical and logical operations it performs simple and complex calculations it also perform addition subtraction multiplication and division it can also perform the logical operations and it test the condition and execute the program that means overall we can say that it generates the output next thing is that memory unit this is the storage unit of computer it is stored the inputted data temporarily as well as permanently the stored data can be used in future whenever we required okay so this is the main basic organization of computer you have learned in this video and in next video i will discuss about the memory types of memory and different units of memory okay here you can see in the picture in notes video okay units of memory clear so thanks students